Hey everyone, so today I have a new to me vendor haul and cold sniff review. Um, the vendor is Satin Susie Scents and it's actually two orders, but I placed my first order and then one right after it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show them both together. Um, I did order quite a few things, so I'm going to get right into it. I got scent shots, the Geo bars, and she is very generous with the samples. So I'll try and grab all the samples first, but I don't know. They're all around in my box, so I'll just show them as I go. So these are the samples. And it just says a little thank you melt. And it has her website, Set and Susie Scents, on it. And Bernadette is the owner. She is very nice. I feel like that she is a very underrated vendor. Um, I find her stuff from these two orders. I am in love with it. I feel like she's very underrated in the wax world. Um, more people should check her out. So let's get into it. Scrumptious cake. This smells so good. This smells like... To me it smells like a chocolate cake. Like that real rich chocolatey type scent and then you get the bakery cakey note. It's really good. And it's not like that fake chocolate or that burnt chocolate scent. I like that. And if you hear anyone breathing, uh, Reagan is sleeping on my bed and she tends to snore so I apologize. Another one is vanilla sugar waffle cone. Definitely smells like it. It just smells like a straight up waffle cone with a little bit of sweetness added to it. I really like that one as well, but it's gonna be a very good blender to blend with other scents. Um, watermelon cake. Yep, you can smell the watermelon. It's like a juicy, fresh watermelon, not that candy, laffy, taffy type scent watermelon. And then you get the vanilla cake note as well. That smells really good. It definitely is heavier on the watermelon, which is awesome because I love watermelon scents. Lemon curd, which I think I ordered in a scent shop because I always have to try everyone's lemon curds because I love that scent. This is so good. Very fresh, fresh tart lemon. I love it. It's so good. Very in your face, strong lemon type scent. Tangerine Dreams. And I like how all of the samples are just simple little squares. To me, I get this this um, hint of tangerine and a strong fizzy scent. Which is awesome because everybody knows that I love ginger ale and fizzy pop scents. That's so good. I usually don't like tangerine, but because this is heavier on the fizzy, I actually like that a lot. Then I got a sample in French Lavender. Whew, this is a very strong herbal lavender scent. Now, I don't like herbal lavender. I like sweet lavender. So I'll give this one to my mom because she's definitely a big fan. But it is very strong. And then I have a sample in Juicy Fruit, which is supposed to be a dupe of the gum. And it smells just like it. It's amazing how it literally smells like you opened a pack of Juicy Fruit and just sniffed it. Oh, that smells so good. I love Juicy Fruit. I don't chew gum that often, but when I was little, I used to chew Juicy Fruit a lot. Okay, so I'm going to get into the scent shots. And she has the oval-shaped scent shots. And the first one is Candy Fluff. And I like how she has the pour date on it. Um, some do have the scent descriptions and some don't, but Candy Fluff is a dupe, um, a lush dupe. And it smells just like it. It kind of is like Snow Fairy, very sickening, sweet, syrupy, cotton candy, heavy, really, really, really sweet type scent. Oh, and let me show you the inside. Some of them are decorated. How cute is that? It's coming off more orange on the camera, but it is a dark neon pink. That one smells so good, and it's very strong. Next one is Roy G. Biv, which is Rainbow Sherbet and Cotton Candy Frosting. 
And on this one, it's definitely heavy on the rainbow sherbet. It smells just like it. It's so good. Very fruity. It just reminds you of summer. It's just an all-around good scent. That's so good. I can't wait to start warming these. I have had these for like a month and a half. I want to let them sit a little just so I can get a good impression on what they smell like. So the next scent is sunwashed linens and it's just a white scent shot and this smells like a very clean and floral type scent yeah it's got some floral in it which isn't bad but it's very strong very clean laundry detergent-esque type of scent I got flannel sheets and I like to try every vendor's take on this scent this smells so good this smells like very laundry detergent dryer sheet very clean stick your head in like gain laundry and it's very good I like it I love clean scents Juicy Fruit, which I just talked about, so I'll just show you this. Look how cute. It smells just like the gum. So, 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 so good. Then I got Candied Violets, which is Violets, Sweet Sugar, and Lemony Shortbread. It's this gorgeous lavender color, and it's got, like, little sugar crystals on top. This smells so good. I definitely get this Violet scent and strong hints of the lemony shortbread i would have never thought to put those two together or that would what would even be the description of candied violets but it smells so good i got that on the recommendation of sasha so go check her out at sasha isms i love her videos she is awesome and i did order because i was watching her reviews on satin susie and was like i'm gonna go ahead and try them out so i did Cashmere Glow. And to me, this smells like the Jergens Cashmere Lo Body Lotion. It smells good. I don't know. I think this might be a Bath and Body Works dupe. I could be wrong. It's just got that musky, powdery type scent that I think of when I think of cashmere scents because my mom wears Donna Karen Cashmere Perfume. And it kind of has that same type of scent. Then I got Shh, Sleeping Baby, which is baby powder, violets, and peonies. And this smells so good. This just reminds me of like when, well, when I was little, the Cabbage Patch dolls, what they would smell like. Like the baby powder type scent. And then you get a hint of the violet. It's a very nice refreshing type scent very relaxing i like that a lot then i got charcoal tonka which sasha kept talking about so i had to try it it's so good you get this woodsy type note like kind of like cedar wood and cologne it's so good i like that a lot definitely recommend if you Go ahead and place an order to try the charcoal tonka. Then I got the bomb popsicle, which is blue raspberry, cherry, and effervescent pop. It's red, white, and blue, of course, like the ice pops we used to eat when we were little. Go ahead and show you, and it smells just like it. This is so strong. You get strong hints of the cherry, the blue raspberry, and a strong effervescent type note oh, and you can actually smell like the carbonation it's so good definitely this one is like knock your socks off strong I got clean freak because Sasha talked about this one again so I had to try because my love of clean scents this one is so good I don't know how to describe it but it's like a perfumey Clean type scent. It almost reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana light blue in some aspect. And it also kind of smells like grass to me. But it's nice. I like that. I can't wait to melt this. I cannot 
say how impressed I am with this company. I am definitely wanting to order more. Rockabye Baby, which is lavender and baby powder. So cute. And this one reminds me of like the Johnson & Johnson's Baby's Bedtime Bath. This does have the herbal lavender, but it's heavier on the baby powder. So this might be okay for me to melt without being headache inducing. But it smells so good. This also reminds me of like a baby doll type scent. Then I got Sea Witch. This reminds me of um, the, the Sea Witch scent from other vendors as well. It's a very oceany green type of scent. A salty type scent. Almost kind of like salted sea air. It's really nice. I like that as well. Okay. Then I got Neapolitan Chocolate Strawberry and Vanilla Ice Cream. Like that. I'll take it out for you. Flip it upside down. Just like the ice cream. It legit smells like the ice cream. You can smell the chocolate, the vanilla, and the strawberry. And the chocolate is that nice chocolate scent. It doesn't have like some kind... Sometimes chocolate scents can have like that burnt chocolate note. No. That's like fresh Hershey chocolate. Hershey chocolate bar that's amazing on how good it smells. It literally smells like when you sniff the bottom for the chocolate. It literally smells like that you opened a Hershey bar. It's so good. That is amazing. Ginger. Yep, it smells just like ginger. I don't know how else to... I don't really know how to describe ginger. It's kind of like a very, not pungent type of a scent, but in your face strong. It literally just smells like when you're grating fresh ginger. I am bad at describing that apparently. Then I got bourbon salted caramel. This smells so good. You definitely smell the caramel and the bourbon. So it's like an amped up sweet caramel scent. Ooh, that is so good. Kind of marshmallowy in a way. Like an ooey gooey caramel marshmallow type scent, but I like that a lot. Get that out of the way. Then I got Island Hibiscus. Now this is a floral type note. It kind of reminds me of like a carpet cleaner. Like a floral florally carpet cleaner. It's not bad. I usually don't do florals because they give me really bad migraines, but this one actually smells really nice. I'm going to melt a very small piece of it to see if it will give me a headache or not. Um, if so, I'll just give it to my mom, which is fine. Um, but I like that. It smells nice. And I just got peach. And this smells like biting into like a fresh peach. It's not that candied peach type note like fresh ripe juicy peach oh, smells so good which reminds me of summer too although I am over the heat it was 103 here at the Jersey Shore today and I got Legally Blonde because I used to love that movie and also because I have blonde hair it's vanilla champagne and blonde moment which is a great scent by itself as well but this smells so good I get the champagne type note plus the berries from the blonde moment it smells really good it's okay, Reagan. It was just thunder, honey. Reagan might come in the video. I apologize because it's starting to thunder and she gets very, very nervous when it thunders. It's been storming bad here today. You could come down here if you want. Come here. You could say hi to everybody. It's okay. Ooh, ooh. Well, don't knock over the camera, though. You could sit right there. No, no. You're gonna knock over the camera, honey. Go ahead, lay down. It's okay. No, no, you... Oh, thank you, but... Let, let me finish the video. <laughs> oh, she's she's standing up for everybody. You want to say hi? Say hi. Ooh, okay, but can I finish the video? Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to get her back and settled in. Then we have sea glass. So cute. This is a nice green, oceany, sea salty type scent. I can't get this one. Oh, there we go. It smells so good. Like, just walking... I live on the beach, so, like, walking near the ocean, this is what sea glass reminds me of. 
It's also like clean, like a clean type scent in a way as well. And I got Merlin's Forest, and to be honest, I have no idea what the scent description is. But it's very powdery and musky type scent. Like, that's all I smell is like straight up powder. It reminds me of a baby doll, too. Then I got In the Summertime, which is strawberries, limes, vanilla ice cream, and marshmallows. Yeah, definitely... I smell a lot of the strawberry. It kind of has like that artificial type strawberry scent, but I don't mind that. I don't really get too much lime, but the strawberry is very overpowering. I like it though. It's good. Let's see. I got Tranquility. This is like a very soothing, relaxing spa type scent. I honestly don't even know how to describe it other than it smells amazing. It's kind of powdery, but it reminds me of like being at a spa as well. Very relaxing. Maybe a hint of floral. But if you want to know the scent description, I can look it up for you. Just let me know. Roasted chestnuts. Um, I live close to New York City, so we go to New York City all the time, and they sell, you know, the roasted chestnuts on the side of the streets. And I just wanted something that reminded me of New York City. Yeah, definitely smells like chestnuts. It smells good. You get that nutty and sweet type scent. Oh, that makes me want to go into the city now. Okay. Then I got... Pink Floyd, which is Floyd's Barbershop Sandalwood and Pink Sugar. Ooh, that smells good. You get like the cologne, manly type scent mixed in with the pink sugar. And kind of woodsy as well. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting combination. I kind of like it. Seize the day. If you couldn't tell, I was on like a clean summery type kick when I was ordering. And that one's just got little sparkles on it. There we go. This one's very clean clean as well. Ocean type scent. This does remind me exactly of sea, salty sea air. And it kind of almost smells like the sea glass. The sea witch as well. I like it. I'm so impressed with all these scents. They're all strong. Cotton fresh. Ooh. This kind of reminds me of, oh, what is it? I can't think of it. Kind of it smells like apple. Like an apple shampoo my friend used to use, even though it's called Clean Fresh. It might just be my nose. It kind of, it reminds me of shampoo. A certain kind of shampoo. It'll eventually come to me. And when I remember, I will just blurt it out randomly because I like to randomly talk and go off on tangents. Then I got Starry Starry Night. And I love her labels. They're so cute with the little cat up there. This one's got a little star. If it'll focus, come on. There we go. That smells good. I can smell berries in it. Um, Honestly, I don't know the scent description either. I apologize. I did back when I ordered it. Grilled pineapple, which is pineapple, coconut, and brown sugar. Y'all, this smells... I just said, y'all, that shows that I went to college in West Virginia. Look how cute. But this smells so, so good. I love eating grilled pineapple anyway, but oh, that scent is to die for. Definitely purchase some grilled pineapple. I'm going to order some more of that. Smoked vanilla. Mm, this is a very, like, smoky type scent like bonfire but also has like a powdery type note as well this smells good i like it that's gonna be a good blender to blend with other things i got orange creamsicle which is orange and vanilla and it smells just like that you get the orange and hints of the vanilla so it's like a creamy orange type scent oh here's a free sample and it is in peeps. 
yeah that's so good it's just smells like sugary marshmallow it kind of reminds me of play-doh too that's kind of weird huh like a sweet play-doh type scent it's probably just my nose i don't know my nose has been really wonky lately then i got asian sandalwood this is so good definitely smells like sandalwood very strong too oh i like that and we do see this one it's so cute it is dough chippy dough chocolate chip cookie dough but wait 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 it's got chocolate chips throughout look how awesome that is and it legit smells like real cookie dough that smells so good like if you want people to think you're baking definitely get this it smells so good just like chocolate chip cookies coming out of the oven i don't know how she does it but it smells amazing then i got sherlock homey 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 i can't tell how it's right now uh, if you hear me sniffing i apologize my nose is a little clogged this reminds me of Abercrombie and Fitch with a sweet note. Like the Abercrombie cologne. Oh, that's nice. And I got this one in the... She has like custom in the ready to ship. I got this one in the ready to ship. They're, I think they're like discounted 10 cents. Just a few more scent shots and then I'll get into the Geo bars. Um, this was a free sample as well. Wine by Candlelight. It smells like wine oh, it's so good like legit it smells like you just opened a bottle of red wine that's really good that's amazing how she can you know how they can get it to smell just like things that they are describing and i got celtic coffee or celtic however you wish to pronounce it and I think Tara was talking about this one. Hey, girl, in her video. Oh, it smells so good. It kind of reminds me of just walking right into Starbucks. I don't drink coffee, but I love coffee scents. And I get a hint of cinnamon as well. That's so good. And the last scent shot is Key Lime Pie. You definitely get this flaky pie crust type note. Plus a tart lime. Oh, that's good. Like, it smells like a buttery crust, too. That's awesome. Okay. So now I'm going to get into the... Oh, wait. I found two more. I lied. A sample of Havana, Co Havana, Havana Mornings, which smells just like coffee. It's so good. A strong coffee scent. And a scent shot in Lime Margarita. Sorry, it was in the bottom of the box. It's got, like, little salt on it for, like, a margarita. And this smells just like strong lime oh that's good i love lime scents so now i will and of course you get your invoice with every order and then it comes with this cute little note that says thank you for your re recent purchase whether you are trying scent and susie's for the first time or are a loyal customer i am honored that you chose to support me and i hope the order meets your expectations please let me know your thoughts ideas or concerns i am always open to suggestions on how to improve to make things better for you and then it goes on to say about you should allow a two week cure time from the poor date for optimal scent throw please keep out of reach for baby children fur babies has her email question uh, has her email address for questions or comments um and then which i thought was really amazing is that on the bottom it says oh where'd it go below are the scent descriptions for the not so obvious scent you might have ordered and then she go ahead went ahead and put in some scent descriptions that is awesome that she definitely took you know time to personalize my order get into the geo bar so i'm gonna stand these up but these are the geo bars they're just like snap bars. They're so good. And everybody, I watched a bunch of reviews on this company before I ordered, but everyone talked about how good it Gigi, Gin, Gigi's ginger ale is, which is a fizzy, refreshing ginger ale. And everybody knows my love for ginger ale scents. So I ordered it in a geo bar. This is so good. It smells exactly like ginger ale and it's so strong. Definitely will only need a little of this 
helps, you know, make a big impact when you're melting. Oh, that smells so good. You can smell the carbonation, the effervescence, and it smells just like ginger ale. That is so good. Syrupy, sweet, carbonated. Oh, amazing. Then I got... Aubrey Marie, which is rose jelly, lemon curd, and vanilla smoothie. And I always love mixing rose jam and lemon curd together. You definitely smell the rose jam with little hints of the lemon curd. Oh, that's really good. I love, I also love these jewel bars. They're not expensive either. I think they're like $3 each and you get a lot of wax. Citrus linen. I might have gotten this in a scent shop. I don't remember because I got so many clean scents. But this is a like hang your laundry on the line. Clean type scent. Laundry detergent-esque. I love it. Good morning, sunshine. I smell grapefruit, orange, maybe tangerine. It's tropical, orangey type fruits. It smells really nice. Definitely summery. That's an awesome color. It's showing up darker on camera, but it's this awesome, really light, creamy yellow color. Hello Sugar, which is a Bath and Body Works dupe, which is lemon and brown sugar shortbread. And I always have to try every vendor. This smells so good. This one is a little heavier on the lemon than I've tried from other vendors. But this is awesome. I love it. I think I actually prefer it this way with heavier on the lemon. Oh, it smells so good. I got lemon curd, which I had reviewed before in the samples. Black chamomile, which I love. It is a Yankee Candle dupe. It smells just like it, but way better than Yankee Candle and way stronger. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not musky, but not manly. I don't know. It smells good. I like that one as well. Rose petals and cream. Yeah, you can definitely smell the rose and the cream. And it's like a, the florally rose type scent. So, that's interesting. I love that. Coconut lemongrass. I love coconut, love lemongrass. I always gotta get this. And everything came packaged with this awesome bubble wrap. And it was packaged so beautifully. This is a very interesting coconut lemongrass to me. It's like, I can smell the coconut, but a lot of vendors just have like that citrusy lemongrass, but this smells more like of an herbaly lemongrass. It's different, but I like it. It's a very interesting take on it. Okay, just a few, two more. Then I got Ocean Waves. This is a gorgeous baby blue color. This is a very green type scent, like a sharp green. Greens type scent. And lastly, Baja Cactus Bloom, which I believe is a Bath and Body Works dupe, because I know they have the Baja Cactus type scent. This is a very sweet and perfumey type note. It definitely smells like something that would come from Bath and Body Works. I like it a lot though. I don't even know how to describe it. And again, I apologize because my brain is just fried for some reason. And let me look at my other invoice. I want to see if she put any scent descriptions on this one. Okay. Yep, she put scent descriptions on my other one as well, which is awesome. 
So that is my first two orders from Satin Susie's. I cannot say any more good things about this vendor. You all need to go run and try her out. I am super impressed. Um, and the turnaround time was not long at all. These scents, all of these scents are strong on cold throw. So I cannot wait to see how they do warm. Um, the customer service is amazing. The products smell amazing on cold. Um, so go ahead and give them a try. I feel like she's very underrated in the wax world. But I think if you guys give her a try, you will be impressed as well. So I will catch you all in the next video. Oh, and I'll put her link to her website down below in the description box. So I will catch you guys in the next video and talk to you later. Bye.